for being here. If you're grabbing drinks, keep grabbing drinks. Grab your seat when you're ready. Um, thank you to all of you for being on time and early. That is how we run this shit. Um, and we're not going to waste any more goddamn time. We're going to dive right into uh, my drunk uncle's podcast live for the first time ever. <laughs> so without any further ado, please make some noise for the legendary goddamn Uncle Laser! I want to thank y'all for coming out. These chairs are way low to the fucking ground. The budget got cut in half. Hey, I just want to let everybody know, at the end of the show, if you look under your seat, someone has a brand new Kia Soul that we're giving away. You get a car. You, I'm just fucking with you. We don't have that kind of budget at all. So fucking disregard that. But let me bring out my first two guests. Can we is it Tahim? Ta Ta How do you say that? Tahir. I I'm stupid in two languages. Tahir Moore. And Adam Ray! Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this. Y'all give it up for them one more time now. Yeah, you're sitting there next to me, dude. The way the good Lord intended. What's up? How you feeling, boys? How about good. that? Good. Awesome. How we doing? You guys excited? Let's go. Can't even comedy festival? Next to some kids playing soccer. Saw a lot of fat kids over yeah. there. Well, we got here and there was like 700 children. And I yeah. can't even be 500 yards from a playground, you know? What I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know, you definitely should not be. Yeah, I can still watch them through the chain link fence. We're all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it now, if you were to just to stand over at that fence and stare, what do you, th how many dads would probably help the fence to beat your ass? Or would they just be like, that's probably a scout? Well, this is kind of like a single mom's kind of adventure here but you a know, lot of single moms in this in cedar park yeah I, I just actually volunteered to coach a little league baseball team this summer I, when i say volunteer it's more court ordered <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying but how many single moms are here right now <laughs> hey i see you baby you ain't gotta yell that loud i seen you when you walked in baby girl <laughs> Hell, so yeah. four <laughs> yeah sounded like four my, my mom uh, did the single mom thing, she, uh, which is uh, a, big, a big deal. She was my hero for that. But there's so many things that single moms do that you're like, oh, there, nobody preps you on like what you have. Like, she bought me condoms. And I was like, all right, this is weird. And I was, you know, nine and they were magnums. But she believed in me. It's only weird if she tries to show you how to put it on at nine. Yeah. <laughs> weird that's, or that's supportive. Was, yeah. yeah. Weirdly supportive. Now, there was always like the, well, I guess what was the, I guess a banana or a cucumber, like if a mom does use, like what yeah. is it? I'm trying to think of like what would be the weirdest thing. To, I guess your own cock would be the weirdest thing, but like. No, uh, whoever she's talking to at that time. Right. It's yeah. like, this is how you want to do it. You just want to pull <laughs> it back on the staff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, That'd be very weird. Fellas. Mom, that's not dad. Yeah. yeah. What are condoms? What's uh, that? What are condoms? Oh, yeah. yeah if, oh, so a condom is, um. Fuck, I don't know. It's <laughs> the thing that makes sex not as great. So yeah, yeah. you never Con want one? Condoms are the turkey bacon of sex. God, that's great. That's funny. That's my yeah, man right we'll here. We'll keep dude. that in. Protected sex is, is turkey bacon. Wait, speaking of protected sex, yeah. I found this very strange. Uh, not strange, I would do it. Uh, I just found out, I just met old boy. Uh, to uh -huh. here. Uh, to uh, hear. Today. To hear. Yeah. I, I'm going to fuck it. Look, it's okay. like, I'm sorry, like dude. to hear more? That's Beautiful. the easiest way. Would you want to, do you want to hear tomorrow? To hear more, that's it. So my new friend, Big T, okay, uh, he just, uh, Is that he a just, fat joke? He just, well, a fat cock joke, you know what I'm saying? Hey but, uh, he just informed me that you're polyamorous. You have a wife of 10 years and a girlfriend of two. Can you take me through that real quick? Yeah, uh, what, okay, what is this going to be on? Yeah. Because I don't want to fuck up my potential for another girl. It's the Hallmark <laughs> Channel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, wife of 11. We just celebrated 11 years, March 17th. Mazel tov. Uh, thank yeah. you. Thank nice. you. Thank you. And uh, girlfriend, it'll be two years for her with us in uh, August. 
Now, they, they, uh, do they know about each other? Yeah, yeah we vacation together. Oh. Wow. You saw my phone. They're on my phone, they're on my home screen. It's, a, it's no, I don't lie, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm not, I don't think anybody is that interesting to lie and try to remember it. So I was just very honest about it. Me and my wife, you know, we started dating in 2005 in college. After two weeks, I knew she was the one because I never wanted to be married. Sure. And then two weeks after I figured out she was the one, she was like, hey, by the way, I'm two months pregnant oh, with somebody time. else's baby. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I stuck around. I raised the baby as mom. My daughter's 18 now. Hey, so just come on, now. School. What's up with that? Yeah. Hell yeah. And so three years ago, I was like, hey, remember when I raised that baby? <laughs> <laughs> I want a girlfriend or I'm leaving. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we live in L.A. so she can't afford to live by herself. So I tricked her without a baby. There we go. I love that. I love that. There we go. So that's not considered a throuple, right? Because I know people that do No, that. no, no. So we're both poly. So she has a boyfriend. I have a girlfriend. Wow. Yeah. Have you all... Like, yeah, done? absolutely. Wow. Yeah. And there's no... Do you guys no, have... No, no. Yeah. No. And y'all just did it. <laughs> you just knew exactly what I was going to ask. Absolutely. Yeah. This yeah. is a conversation I have with many people. You, you guys don't understand. Like... First of all, this is very not, it's, it's not as uncommon as you would think. It's just that most people don't talk about it because they care about their career. Yeah. I obviously am dumb. Well, okay. this could be your sitcom, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I also sell cocaine. I'm oh, okay, really yeah. good at it, very profitable sure. at it. I was just telling Gary's mom about it. I got many mansions, two helicopters. I'm not doing well in the cocaine business. I'll be damned. Yeah. I'll be damned. It's a big market for it with like drop offs. Most people just sell it, but I actually drop it off. Okay. Yeah, have drinks with the clients, all of that type of stuff. Who's on cocaine right now, I guess, would be the next follow up question. Come on, new customer. Big money, big money, big money. <laughs> and, who, and who's got something to be share one. after the show? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's got to no, be one. No of sharing these. by your own. No sharing by your own. Um, uh, but no, we. we um, after you've been married for as long as we have, and I know for people that have been married for 15, 20 years, that's not long. Um, but, you know, you, you do a lot of stuff, and we met in college, and it's like, I don't want to lie, okay? Now, I'm, on the road, I'm on the road a lot. She's at home, or she's traveling a lot, so we wanted to, like, just have an open line of communication. We found something whoa, that worked whoa, for us. Whoa, 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 who, who is this? Who the whoa. fuck is this, who is this guy? guy? What are we doing? I'm late. I was finishing a beer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Faust. Gary <laughs> Faust. Hey, how's gentlemen. everybody doing? I'm not Gary Faust. I am Howie Mandel. <laughs> yeah. What are you? What are you doing? What are you wearing? What are you? What are you oh, doing? it's like a little joke. Like the bum fights guy went on Howie Mandel's show, and then he dresses up like Howie Mandel. You, uh, Doctor Phil, right? Yeah. yeah. This is one of the wildest things this? I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> This yeah. isn't deal or no deal. What the? What is your deal? Seriously, what are you doing here? Well, I, I guess you know what. I'm just I thought you were in jail. Tequila soda. The <laughs> he said he finished. You his thought beer. I was in jail. <laughs> he was finishing his beer, but he still brought it with him. That's the crazy thing. Incredible, incredible. This is a tequila soda. Oh, okay. All right, fancy guy. All right. Are we yeah, doing those tequila shots? Are those tequila shots? Yeah. That's, speaking of, yeah. Yeah. Where they uh, at? The ladies in the orange. I think we're doing either belly button or some shit. Belly buttons are underrated. That's the only that circle to push. Sounds you. like a scandal. Uh, I'm gonna excuse myself. Uh, Adam, yeah, real quick. Uh, a time when uh, you got hammered, fucking drunk. Next morning, you woke up and you're like, "Hey, I'm never drinking again." Can you take us through that story? Oh man, yeah. So uh, I, my first job in Los Angeles was playing uh, Wolverine at Universal Studios. <laughs> That's the right response. Just mostly silence. Uh, and I, that was all I really talked about when it was about two years. I dressed years. up like the wrong fucking guy again, dude. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Yeah, we're your claws and fangs. And so it was two years into stand-up, and I was doing stand-up at a winery in Paso Robles. And uh, it was a packed bar, about 250 people uh, upstairs. And I'm doing jokes about being Wolverine. And, uh, and halfway through, I'm looking down, trying to figure out my next move. And there was a woman who was pretty drunk, about 20 feet off to my left. And she kept just screaming shit out. And, uh, and then at one point, she was like, should I give, should I, let me give you a kiss. And I was like, should I let her give me a kiss? Everyone was like, yeah. Everyone's blackout. And I go over there, and she just licks the side of my face. And I uh, made some you know, crass comment like, oh, I think I just got AIDS and herpes and gonorrhea, right? Just all the things. And I walk back to my uh, spot in the middle of the uh, stage, and I see her hand in my perif just kind of go up with her wine glass. And I couldn't register it quick enough to see if, like, what was really happening. And I see just that motion so quickly. So in my head, I was like, oh, shit, I think she's throwing a wine glass. So I put my hand up like that, and my palm was just sweaty enough to where the base of the wine glass, I swear to God, it, like, sticks to my hand for, like, half a second. Just enough for me to just wrap my fucking palm around it. 
And so I realized that I fucking snapped a wine glass out of midair, and then I caught it, and I went, ah! And the whole crowd goes, what the fuck? And then I looked over and I put it down on her uh, table and I said, I told you, bitch, I'm Wolverine. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like a hero in Paso Robles. Everyone was drinking, uh, throwing me drinks and, uh, and, uh, and smoking me out. And this uh, couple that was really toxic uh, got me in the back of their uh, Volkswagen. And, uh, Wait, you with, were a cuck? What's that? Uh, you've cucked before? No, I, we were smoking in the back. And... Uh, but no cucking uh, in this story. Um, <laughs> sure, to hear. Yeah, you got you any might, stories like that? Yeah, you might have one, yeah? Uh, no. Uh, that sounds more Professor X than Wolverine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't really get drunk that much. What's your vice? What are you, a cop? <laughs> I, do, uh, I do drugs, so mm. that's more of my. Uh, just rooms, though. Nothing, no hard drugs. All I, right. Can't get off my high off my own supply. Uh, I did one time. I, I I can't smoke weed. It just it just does not sit well with me. One time I, I did smoke in college. And what have you smoked though? I'm always curious because I've known people that are like, dude, weed's too much, but all they do is gravity bonks, you know? Well, yeah, so, or, or the dabs. The dab, yeah, this the was. Crack I weed. think this was just like two hits of a joint. Like that's how low my tolerance is when it comes to weed. Yeah. And this was like college. I had already been drinking. I had like six Incredible Hawks. Uh, I don't know if y'all know what that is. It's hip, hypnotic and Hennessy. Mixed together, horrible decision, horrible college decision. Had six of those and then hit the weed twice and a couple more beers. Went home and I woke up still high. And so I immediately took a shower with my clothes on, thinking I would never get my yeah. memory back. Oh, bro, I've done that. That's, yeah. that's how the rest of my story uh, ended. I went back to the hotel, <laughs> for real. And I got in the, uh, I got so high in the back of these people's uh, car. And they got in a huge fight, by the way, but it was a two door. So I'm sitting in the back, and they're just like, <laughs> she's like, God damn it, James, you always fucking bring the shit weed. All this is a shake. And he was like, fuck you, Charlene. You don't fucking, you, you're the one who's supposed to buy the good weed. And I'm, like, I'm like, you guys mind if I just get out of here real quick? <laughs> you're and I'm trying to swim out of the car. I'm it's in the back coupe, seat. So you're trying to reach around? I'm reaching around the his seat. Like, you I'm just scooting up just a little just, bit, my I'm man. Just get this door real quick. So I go back to this Courtyard Marriott uh, shout out, and, uh, and I'm fucking blackout. I get into the shower fully clothed, and I was leaning up against the shower like I lost a big game, just like, ugh, like just hoping the shower will hold me up. Next thing you know, I, f I wake up to my legs being undercut by the bathtub shower combo, and I fucking ricochet off the floor. And the other comic that was uh, sharing a room with me, uh, this guy, Will Clifton from Kansas City, real military guy, real southern accent, he goes, brother, you okay? And I'm, on, and I'm on the ground fucking just shaking. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just shaving. He goes, sounds like you fell out of the shower, brother. I was like, mind your fucking business, Will. Just so embarrassed. So wait, wait, wait. You were, you were high standing in the high shower. High and drunk. So I got drunk you in the bar. Asleep, got smoked up? out in the uh, yeah, Volkswagen. Were you, wearing, were, you, were you wearing all your clothes? Yes. Yeah. Howie, stay with us, How baby. How do you take yeah. your showers? You don't wear clothes when you take your showers? Dude, if you're going to be late, you're not I wear, I wear this bald cap in the shower, dude. <laughs> So then I, uh, I, fell, I got back in the shower, uh, I fell asleep again, fell out of the shower again, and then Will's like, dude, I definitely think you fell out of the shower this time, brother. <laughs> and then I, uh, I, I opened the door, there's water just spilling out everywhere. I grabbed two, like, you know, lean cuisines from the fucking hotel uh, market, and I tried to open them, and apparently, unbeknownst to me, I couldn't get them open, so I fucking threw it against the window, smashed the Courtyard Marriott uh, window, and then passed out like a vampire on the bed uh, with all my clothes on sobbing wet. And then I get a phone call the next morning from the front desk. Uh, Mr. Ray, uh, we're gonna need you, this is the manager, Greg, uh, we're gonna need you to pay for the window you wow. broke with a Stover's lasagna. So, anyway, that was probably the drunkest I bet. You broke the window with a fucking pizza pocket? What yeah, you? With, a, pocket? yeah with some sort of a, a meal yeah. situation. Well, you shouldn't have been eating that lasagna if it's strong enough to break a fucking window yeah. anyway. Yeah. 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 That doesn't sound healthy. Last time I that smoked... That was a good <laughs> Last time I smoked weed, I got a UTI. That was a penis? <laughs> what do those feel like? I don't think weed does that. Well, I thought it was like a lady disease. I didn't know guys could get that, but you can. So and you that, feel once yeah, you, you start... Once you start peeing, you just feel something it's wrong. Like, but, but I've had like, I mean, I've had like, you know, I've had all. You've had a bunch, we know, yeah. I mean, hell, I got staph yeah. infection in a Whirlpool jacuzzi in a strip club in West Virginia with salt, pepper, and cinnamon. You know what I'm saying? So like, I've been through the ringer, all right? But the but old girl, the little nighttime ballerina I was hanging out with, she fucking was like, I've got this. And I'm like, that's a woman drug. That, or that's not going to affect me. But it does. And then she cured herself of it, and I still had it. Then she went to have sex again, and she's, I was like, that's going to create a super variant. We can't do that. I'm getting erectile yeah. dysfunction. And she went to prison a couple of days later. She had like, I, she worked for the cartel. She had a kangaroo in her backyard. And you can't just get that at the Petco. You got to have like a permit and shit. So, 
anyways, I don't smoke weed anymore. And that woman was Jody Sweden from Full House. <laughs> Funny she takes out, baby. Right. Wait, He's what, back. Is, what does a staph infection uh, feel like? What is uh, I almost died. I was in the hospital for 17 days, yeah. legitimately. So you'd rather have a UTI than a staph infection? Yeah, the hot tub water was had the consistency of like egg drop soup, and I probably shouldn't have got in there, but you know me. You knew yeah. that, getting into it? You saw that beforehand? Or well, that, all that froth was cum, I'm assuming. Yeah, most hot, hot tubs are pretty cum. cum pretty yeah, cummy. Yeah, and you cum. knew that, and you got in. You know, hey, uh, spring break. One time I didn't have a condom. I took a little toilet tissue put it in the hole, and I put a piece of masking tape over the hole, and it worked. Really? No, no, <laughs> no, Incredible. it did not work. Incredible. And the fact that you were naive enough to ask me really <laughs> lets me know that you got another staph infection in your future, buddy, okay? <laughs> that motherfucker is coming. I actually got strep throat right now, so. All right, well, stop eating the ass, okay? Yeah, I know, the little toilet paper balls on the cuff of the butthole, they're not sprinkles on a cupcake. You put them on your fucking tongue, you will get strep throat 100%. Boy, why are all the kids looking this way all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, there's like, still Did somebody say cupcake butthole? <laughs> I mean, they definitely can hear all of this, by that's the way. Different, that's 100%. a different flavor right there, baby. I'll 100%. Tell you what. Yeah, this was yeah, an odd was. choice for the... Uh, no, for no, this no, brand of comedy. No, did we check? Did, did, did like the practice show up before the show was set up? Or? Yeah, no, there was like a lot more. The, the first venue choice was actually in elementary school, but they passed on it. Yeah, wild, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. We should maybe pull one of the uh, dads over to interview him, no? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, there's got to be some fucking drunk divorced dad over there that's just yeah. like, my kid ain't going pro. <laughs> I, I don't want to be here. I, what, say it again? I don't want to be here. Yeah, for sure. I love seeing like drunk uh, dads at like t-ball games heckling the umps. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible call rev. It's like, dude, they're all they're all terrible at that age. <laughs> we should bring one over. Yeah, is that possible? I, don't, I mean, I just work here, dude. I don't. Does fucking... anybody does anybody work uh, <laughs> here for the festival? Is anybody a single dad? anybody work here? <laughs> those, those parents drop those kids off and they fucking take off. None of the parents are here right now. Yeah. There's yeah. gotta be a single this is a free here. day. This is a free day for the parents, I feel like. Have you ever had to watch kids sports though? It's fucking terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Now this guy, I feel like any, if anyone's wearing a cowboy hat, that feels like a single dad move. Is there? Yeah, my man, there we go. Did you just lose a son or a daughter? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was talking about the team. My bad, I didn't even know. My man, when'd you get that cowboy hat? When, when'd you, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, the way he said that, Mike, it kind of sounded like move along, talk to somebody else. No, no, no. Else. Well, first of all, I'm envious. I don't have cowboy hat confidence. You found it on the street for real? It's a new acquisition. Well, you're rocking it. What's your name? Rad? Matt. Matt. Oh, we'll just say that next time, yeah. <laughs> Matt, what do you do in Texas? Just visiting from where? Montana, let's go. Oh, so the hats are probably pretty uh, active out there, yeah. Oh, well, he, he, he goes to sleep with that hat on if he's from Montana. Well, if you're from Montana... That's his hair. That's his fucking hair. If you wear a cowboy hat, you should know, old son, that it's not felt seed right now. It's March. It's straw season. But did you know that? But you picked it up off the ground, and that's okay. But that's how you get staph infection, old son. I didn't know that. I just learned something new. That is... Is your whole table Montana boys? Yeah? You guys, like, on a bachelor party and shit? Oh, yeah. Oh, you getting married, old son? Hey, man. Hey, congratulations, congratulations brother. Wow. Can you imagine being the guy playing that bachelor party? Dude, there's a comedy show next to a youth soccer practice. <laughs> you guys down to rip it up? I found this cowboy hat. Let's fucking move. Hey, you want to go to the YMCA Center and watch comedy or what? Dude? <laughs> yeah, dude. Apparently, there's a swimming practice on Whose Sunday morning, too. Whose idea was that? Whose idea was it to come here? How did you sell that? Hey, my man with the handlebar. Was button. it on Groupon? How did you find this? Yeah. Mothership. Mothership was sold out. Wait, we wow. were your second show? Hey, get this guy the fuck out of here. Yeah, wow, dude. Too you know soon. what? Too soon. Too soon. Wow, dude. Wow. I love the brute honesty, though. I can appreciate that. It's a hell of a mustache, well, too. Cool, just connected man. to yeah. the sideburns right there, huh? Are, yeah, all that's, you, that's, are, that's, are all you boys married or just that old boy getting married? The rest of you guys married? A couple more in there, yeah. You, you were the only one out? You were the, you were the, you were the last hope? Everybody was living vicariously through you? Let's go, dude. Are you, how are you guys turning things up post-show uh, tonight? This can't be the only stop, yeah? Strip club. Strip club, yeah. Where are the strip clubs in? Red in Rose. There's Red Rose. Red they, Rose. They actually sponsored the podcast. Red Rose. Let's Shout go. out Red Rose. Yeah, we'll see you there. <laughs> yeah. Yellow Rose? Relax. Yellow Rose? Hey, we know you work there, dude. Fucking calm down. Okay? Uh, well, well, okay, well, let me ask you, what are the good strip clubs then? Are there? Red Rose? Oh, no, that's the best okay, place. Okay, wait, wait, no, no, no. You All guys, my ex-girlfriend worked there, dude. Did you see how you see how fast she said none? Where the good side? None! none. I fucking hate it here. No tits, no ass. 
Where's your favorite strip club at? What's your, what's your favorite one? Portland? There are strip clubs in Portland? Oh, yeah. They actually do have some of the best in the world. You can there's do heroin everywhere. There's the always... Yeah, and you can legally do heroin there, too. So yeah. it's pretty much best of both worlds. You want to make sure the strip club has all the uh, letters in the marquee. I went to a strip club in Vegas once called the Pussycat, but the P and the C were burnt out, so we pulled up to the Ussiat. And you can only imagine what sort of clientele and Walmart Narnia creatures were dancing at the Ossiac. It was the major jean, the guy who answered the door, I swear to God, was wearing a mesh tank top and jean shorts. And he goes, do you guys want to sit in the splash zone? And we're like, what the fuck does that mean, dude? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, wow. So yeah, so uh, red rose, yellow rose, both some like valid options. Okay, okay. Good luck to you guys. Have well, you been to Atlanta? Have you been to an Atlanta strip club? Have you been to a Houston strip club? St. James, going to church. No, it's not the same thing, baby. Listen, wherever the rappers talk about in their songs, go to that one yeah. one time. Yep. That should have changed your life. Why don't we ask one of the kids? Hey, kids, have you guys ever seen one of the titties that aren't your mom's? Uh, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? They definitely, I'm just so aware of their existence. I love this, man. I love you so much. Yeah. Um, what else is on the docket, Gary? Pull up the little My phone line. died, dude. I have no idea what we're doing. Oh, we say wait, wait, uh, we can you do say, some arrest stories. You said thick or thin chicks. Which, thick or thin, yeah. Like yeah. thick or thin women. Depends on my budget. <laughs> well, what is your uh, wife Depends girlfriend? Strip club you, you go to? Uh, my wife and my girlfriend are both thin. They both got little ass on them, but they thin for the most part. They both wear smalls, for the most part. Uh, I'm the big guy. Wait, you really have a wife and a girlfriend? I thought you were joking. <laughs> no, <said>. bro. <laughs> I don't joke about that shit right there. God damn. Yeah, no, it's, 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 a cool, it's a cool situation. So, yeah, I, li I like it. I love them both. I'm actually... All right, thanks awkward. a lot, guys. Yeah, anyways. Thanks for coming out the one. I thought, I thought somebody else was going to jump in with something, and it just got awkward as fuck. I was kidding. I don't have both. Huh? <laughs> Let's ask the married man. What do you prefer? Dudes. <laughs> dude, there will never be a shortage of guys just making like, I bet he fucking sucks a guy, dude. <laughs> That's just never good. There was a guy, uh, I was doing a show in D.C. last night, and he comes up to me, he's like, dude, Adam Ray, can I get a picture? I was like, no problem, man. He goes, are you sure? I mean, I ain't trying to suck your dick or nothing. And then laughed really hard. I was like, yeah, dude, nothing about a photo. <laughs> Maybe you think you blowing me in public was going to be the next move here. Like, who are you taking photos with? Dude. <laughs> guys, it's just very difficult for guys to approach another guy well, and ask for something. It puts I you guess, in a position yeah. of possible. I mean, it's just it weird. A at, at Kill Tony one night, uh, a woman came up to me and she's like, with her husband, and she goes, if I wasn't with him, I'd be sucking your dick. Dude, right I remember he was that. He was that was fucking And, and, and that night. woman was Jody Sweet from Full House. <laughs> <laughs> I love her very much, dude. <laughs> Let's bring her up. Jody, come Jody Sweet, come here. Hey, speaking of that, dude, you actually have a real life cuck story, too. Can we tell that? Oh. What's the theme of this podcast? <laughs> well, we just get drunk, dude. Yeah, okay, cool. And then just, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that <laughs> dude, I love that when people start a podcast. Dude, hey, I'm, man, I'm come on my show, man. We just drink and just talk about whatever, man. Just, you know, whatever comes to our mind, man. We just fucking rip. So what, so you have a cuck story. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean. <laughs> are, you, are you seeing multiple cuck stories and you're trying to pick one or is, is there not no, a real cuck? It's not, you know, it's very... Dark time in my you life. made a lot of money oh, off that, though. I made four thousand dollars. Dude, walked up to me. This old gentleman was like, "Hey, it's a, we're big fans. Me and my wife." You. He's like, "Hey, you mind? It'd be my bucket list if you'd fuck my wife while I watch." And I go, "I'm all right, man." And he goes, "I'll give you four thousand shekels." I said, "Let's take a look at her." You know what I'm saying? And uh, he whistled, and uh, this fucking semi truck of a woman comes crawling out of the vending machine. And she looked like a fucking Buick seat, just fucking wrinkly and old, like she lived in a tanning bed. And I'm like, man, I appreciate the offer. And he goes, I'll give you 5,000 shekels. I was like, you know what, dude? Buick's not that bad of a car. Let's take her for a spin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Walked up there, and when I got up there, he threw me a curveball. He's like, yo, you got to let me wear your socks while you do it. Wait, what? Yeah. 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 And yeah. I was like, absolutely fucking not. Absolutely. And my mom, they, they, that's, I'm already don't even want to be here. I was like, he's like, I'll give you extra thousand. I said, look, for next thousand, you can wear my boxers on your fucking <laughs> face. I don't care. Yeah, and I fucked her completion, and I went down to the roulette table, and I put all it on red. And, when know, he talks, were you nervous uh, to, to do that in front of him? Was he making weird faces at you? He I don't sat know, in the I don't closet. Know I'm he to ask sat in right one now. of them closets that, like, got the blind things where you can, like, make, where he could see me, but I couldn't see him. It was, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Dude, shut the fuck up. You called me right after that. You're like, dude, I got the coolest story. Yeah, it was actually great. I'm not going to lie. I actually had a great fucking time. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, it still burns when I pee, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah, see, that's not a staph infection. That's like... <laughs> Something that's something more serious. No, you know, you, I looked at. See, kids, now a staph infection <laughs> is when you get in a cuck situation and you get prices righted. Um, you don't have any cuck stories? You got you got a face for it. A face for cuck. Me? You got a face yeah. for cuck, yeah. Uh, you for got sure, hundred percent. Cuckable face, dude. Kind of I mean, really no. the epitome of it. I've seen. I saw Brad Williams uh, having sex with multiple people once. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Has anyone else seen a uh, little person <laughs> fucking before? It's, if you ever do see it, make a wish and call your dad and uh, put all your money on black. Do they? Uh, do they? It's not really cocking though, dude. Yeah, I was just trying to think of a fun That's just story. Midget. <laughs> yeah. Midget sex. Yeah. Do they come rainbows and shit? Or what? They do not. Oh yeah, I mean it's. Uh, I mean yeah, they... standing up doggy style, which was awesome to watch. <laughs> um, Puppy style, right? Zing. Puppy style, yeah. Did he have a hammer on him or what, dude? Yeah, did he I got a big old piece? Back. Yeah, but Wait, uh, what you you saw him from the back while he was doing? Did you walk by? Walk by the room, door was open, stopped. That's fair. It's like a lunar eclipse. You can't just, turn away. <laughs> get a little flyby. Yeah. Yeah. Say it again. Just a flyby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Are there little people in Montana? <laughs> Feels like a great name for a memoir. Uh, the little people of there Montana. Are? What do you do for work in Montana, by the way? What is the Construction, let's go. Uh, what are you building uh, currently? Tiny homes. Tiny homes. Hey! hey! Zing, zing, zing! Yeah, there it is. It's wide open. There it is. Hey, where's those tequila shots, dude? Yeah, can we get the tequila shots? Hey, uh, she brought us up, up here, didn't she? I thought she had brought us up, up here. I thought they were coming. And a beer, too. That'd be great. Uh, how do you like Texas, Adam? You like better in L.A.? Are you going to move here? What's the deal? Uh, I love Texas, man. I mean, it's uh, every city's got its own flavor. I've been in L.A. for so long, but uh, it, this is a nice place to visit, you know? I mean, I've been here for um, months at a have time. You, have you been here in the heat of the summer, though? I have, and it that's sucks wild. Dead, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. sucks. Yeah. That's, uh, that's probably the biggest deterrent. I mean, L.A. gets hot, but uh, but not, like, scorching. And y'all's homeless is different than ours. Uh, yeah, our homeless... I mean, I saw... I guess the homeless, you notice it in L.A. Like, I live near close to, uh, like, Sunset and Hollywood Boulevard near the comedy clubs. So you get to see, like, your homeless are always hanging out in homeless spots, like, under bridges, in bushes. I once saw a homeless guy, <laughs> like, it was the night of the Oscars, about two years ago. And I'm literally driving past the, uh, you know, the, the, um, uh, the uh, Dolby Theater where the Oscars are happening. I'm like, wow, dude, Hollywood is live and entirely. All the movie stars and, and Bradley Cooper's in there, Lady Gaga. And then literally, like, 20 feet Later, driving by, I see a dude with his pants off, like butt fucking a sewer, and I was like, "I don't think you get to see this anywhere else." You know, that's entertainment, you, and you got it for free. So yeah, and that guy was Jody Sweet. Thank you so God much. God damn it! God damn it! Uh, no, but it's it's a wild city. There's, I mean, there's there's always something going on. I feel like you guys have your spots of entertainment, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, like, cause I was in Chicago last Saturday. We did like a couple different spots. Everything's 20 minutes apart. Where in Austin, you can walk a five block radius and hit 10 different, you know, spots for comedy. So I like it. It's convenient as far as comedy goes. For sure. You know? Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, Cedar Park. This, yeah. And this is, uh, <laughs> no, this is, this it's is the spot. 45 minutes from downtown. Yeah. No, but this is, now what happens? Who is uh, from Cedar Park pro proper? Who could give like a true tour of this area post show if we were to rent like a Sprinter van? And go around town. Yeah? Anybody? Yeah? Sweetheart? Yeah, you're, you're from Cedar Park? No, but you can, but you could take us on a tour? Yeah. Cool. So were you listening to the fucking question? Or, well, yeah, was there? <laughs> okay. So I was saying somebody from here that knows some of the highlights they could pimp us out to. You are from here. Okay, great. So what would be the one thing? If we had, like, one more night in Cedar Park, like, what would be the big uh, bangerang thing to, to get uh, active with? The what? What did she say? Nothing. She said nothing. nothing. Hey, this is it. This is y'all's like fucking capital up here, huh? This is. Hey, here we go. Oh, oh hey, wow. hey. Shit. This is mango jalapeno. Is it? Yeah. Mango jalapeno mango tequila. Tisha. Mango tequila. Mango shada. What's, what's the name of the tequila? Mango shada. Mango shada. Okay. Are we doing it out of y'all's belly buttons, or is that not? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you had good. your belly button removed. I love that. Yeah. What if I have one? Thank you so much. I love that. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cheers. This looks like the hot tub that uh, Uncle Laser hey, was hey. 
swimming in. All right. Cheers. Uh, thank you very much. Hey, here's two uh, rattlesnakes and condoms. All right. They <laughs> two things we don't what? fuck with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cheers, clink, clink, clink. Cheers to Howie Cheers. Mandel Cheers. to here. <laughs> Cheers to you guys, huh, for coming yeah. out to this uh, festival. And cheers to the young soccer stars of tomorrow. It's <laughs> actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, yes, please, thank you. Those are some sick ass air. Uh, Tasty, yeah, thank you very Jordans, much. Those Jordans, dude. Uh, you big yeah, shoe guy, Jordans. you big sneakerhead. I'm a decent shoe guy. Some kid in Chicago was like, if you make some posts for me, well, can I give you some shoes? And I said, yeah. Those are dope as shit. Wish that story was better, but yeah, that's. Uh, so I got these shoes. What are you a big shoe guy? Well, I'm I mean, a look at your big boot guy. I'm a big boot guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what are these? Do we know what animal these are made of? They, these are the alabaster uh, Albanian uh, anacondas. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you know, speaking of boots, dude, should we do a couple boot beers or what? The hey, let me get two beers. Wait a second. What? what you guys want to do a shoe? Miller, Miller Michelob, I don't give a fuck. Just get two beers yeah, up two, here. We need we're two gonna, beers. We're going to shoot two some beers. beers out of the boot. Hey, cowboy, in a cowboy hat, you got your boot on? You got a boot on or a fucking New Balance? You gonna cut grass? What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, you got, you, you mind if I, you, you mind if we do a fucking shoey out of your boot? Come Wait, on! This is All right, dude, you only get married once. Welcome to Texas, motherfucker. This is a real thing? You drink yeah. it? Yeah, this is what we do, dude. dude. I'm gonna need and the other one, one, one also. I mean, oh, Gary's yeah, gonna need a boot, too. You there did you in go. Australia. I did in Australia where I was born. I was sick. Wait, give me the other shoe, son. I need pumped up. Hey, we need the other one, old son. Come on. Yeah, you didn't know you were getting undressed today, did you, boy? <laughs> Actually, dude, are you <laughs> Whoa, one? Hey, listen, dude, my man, my man. All right, let's do it. Adam, you sure you don't want no part of this? Dude, that guy looks like Toby Heath Bar. <laughs> oh, uh, no. I'll take a... Just, I guess this one's perfect, yeah? I guess we really do. Bro, thanks for the boots. These look cool. Yeah, well, I'm definitely not doing this. Come on, Adam. Dude, I did in Australia. I was sick for four days. Oh, they're really pointing in this boot like this. All right. You guys have a blast, man. Cheers, boys. Yeah. Also, you don't try to get it. You don't try to drink it. Okay. You're such a mess, dude. <laughs> I mean, no control whatsoever. Yeah. Anyways, hey, here's your boots back. Great, okay? dude. Jesus. Good shit. Sorry about that, Adam. He's fucking new. We get a towel because Gary's a fucking idiot. Anyways, we're getting, me hey, we're, get, we're getting canceled next week, so there's that. Yeah. Nah, I think it's tough to cancel you, dude. <laughs> You're too honest. You well, know? if they cancel me, I'd just go sit in a deer stand in East Texas. What would you do if comedy wasn't... Uh, i go back to the oil field. To the orphanage? Oh, yeah, the orphanage. What the did oil. you... No, I, no, the oil field. Oh, the oil, oil field. Yeah, I was, oh. I was uh, drilling. You know? What if it was an oil field for orphans? <laughs> 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 i go back to the Cider House Rules, me and Tony McGuire. It's a deep cut. Uh, uh. Ten minutes. Right, Wait, cool. what did you uh, do on the oil field? This is probably I was, common uh, knowledge. I was a directional driller for Conoco Phillips <laughs> for like go. the past like ten years. So you go back? You would happily well, go dude, back? Dude, when I quit my job, I was making half a million dollars a year. Jesus. So I didn't just give up a job; I gave up a career, you know, to Shit. be a broke fucking comic. Good you know you, what I'm saying? So you got to. But if that or porn, you know. Yeah, how many people would rent a porn starring Uncle Laser? <laughs> well, I actually have OnlyFans. It's funny you say that, Adam. Do um, you really? Yeah, and I did a blowjob trivia video the other day. <laughs> And uh, what it was, I have a buddy named CJ and his wife. They made a bunch of money off of OnlyFans during the pandemic. Which, honestly, I want to point out, during the pandemic, everybody was struggling. But I got to see more girls' buttholes than I went to high school with for three ninety nine a month. And that was fucking incredible. It was a great time in my life. But we made a blowjob trivia video. It was basically like you get a blowjob, but you got to answer American history trivia. Like, you know, like what's the how, what presidents are on Mount Rushmore and shit like that. Mm. And you're just trying to come first. But... When, they get, when you get a question wrong, they stop, and you instantly go soft. You can't take Cialis or anything like that. It was very... You realize you don't retain any fucking information from high school. So. And that fe yeah, well, I mean, it feels like an easy question, but most kids don't even know who... You know what? And we actually... Kids, who hey, do kid? you think is on Mount Rushmore for a free blow shop? Wait, do we all know? Whoa, dude, I mean, right? Do we all know who's on Mount Rushmore? Yeah. I want to say Washington. Washington. Lincoln. Lincoln, Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, and, Jefferson Ted, for sure. and Teddy yeah. Roosevelt. Teddy, Teddy Roosevelt, Roosevelt. Yeah. yeah. It's only four? Yeah, yeah it's, it's only, only four. four. <laughs> yeah. They oh, should wow. put me up there. <laughs> <laughs> put me up there with my shoes, the Trump shoes. <laughs> Perfect for running from an indictment. Oh, uh, shit. They should put him up there. Fuck it. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so funny if he just fucking had somebody in the middle of the night just fucking hired the Montana construction boys <laughs> <laughs> to just build some giant fucking Trump face? Oh, my God. So funny. All right, so wait, you guys, did we find out what you build? 
No? Dirty work? Jer jerky work? What dirt, are you saying? Dirt work? Dirt, dirt work? work? Oh, okay. What is yep. dirt work? Excavation. Excavation. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha, like, gotcha. like cul-de-sacs and ditches and shit. Soccer, Soccer fields. fields. There we are. Too soon, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, Gary, thanks for spilling all over our featured fucking guests. That was real nice of you. Jesus Christ. A hole in the boot, dude. Yeah, dude. You're, Adam, going, you ever, you're going for it. I respect the commitment. Adam, were you ever arrested? You ever been to jail? Uh, yeah. You did hard time. So, well, I was... Uh, not a hard time, but I was outside of a show in San Diego, and I get outside. It was a little coffee house about five years into stand-up, about 12 years ago. And I, and I get out of the uh, coffee shop. I'm sitting out there waiting to uh, say goodbye to people, hand out some flyers. And these cops just walk by me, and I immediately just was like, fuck, do I have weed on me? And then they stopped, and they grabbed my arms, and they put cuffs on me, and they go, you have the right to remain silent. I was like, what the fuck? And all these people are coming out. I was like, I swear to God, I just came from right there doing a show. And they're like, likely story, man. You look just like the guy who was walking around this neighborhood, like, like showing his dick in, in the like, windows of all the houses in this neighborhood. And I was like, do you honestly think if that was me, I would come back to the exact area the <laughs> next night? And they were like, and do a comedy show? And they're like, we don't know, man, but you look exactly like the guy. I was like, really? What, what did he look like? And they go, we don't know, but he was wearing a white backwards hat and a green shirt. I go... That's your fucking what you think it could be? <laughs> so they held on to me for like uh, two hours in the back of the car, and everyone came out looking at me being like, great show! <laughs> uh, and, then, uh, and, then, and then I got out, and, uh, and then that was it. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah. So no, but I would like to go to jail just to see what it's like, you know. No. No? Have you been to jail? No. I don't no, know. What's that so scary? She's lying. She's lying. No, that She's woman. That woman. That old hell no. You have gone to jail for what? I have not. You have not gone, yeah. Well, I still think she's lying. Yeah. Well. So you're who went to jail? The Montana boys. Well, no shit, dude. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for, yeah. for yeah. tax fraud. Y'all ain't paid y'all's taxes since fucking grade school. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you see. <laughs> what did you go to jail for, my man? Battery. Oh, oh domestic okay. violence? Source? I'll take things nobody thought violent. you were going to say for a thousand dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I thought you were going to be like, I stole some candy bars from the AMPM. He's like, no, I fucking beat this kid for looking at me across the soccer field. Um, all right. He wanted his cowboy hat back for his dad, and I said, uh, suck my ass. And gave him an elbow to the face. Okay, so battery. That means, yeah, that's, that's fucking, that's physical violence, yeah? Was it towards a woman or a man? I don't think anybody wants wow. to hear the answer to this. <laughs> you wow for that. Bro. Those kids in the soccer field do. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. How many how long do you go to jail for battery for? Three days. God, that's it. Oh, it feels on, like man. it should be longer. Jesus Christ. In Montana, they're just loosey goosey, huh? <laughs> Are the laws pretty uh, pretty even keeled in Montana? This was in Wyoming? Yeah. Oh, man. So, country. no, yeah. we also would have accepted, yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, I'm glad you made it out, dude. Yeah, Three dude. days can get long for anybody, right? Just staring up at the wall. How'd you keep yourself busy? Do you have a Sudoku or uh, some lube? A Rubik's Cube. <laughs> One more time. A little bit of Scrabble. Nice. Prison rules Scrabble. Oh, prison rules Scrabble. How does that work out? Musical chairs. Oh, wait, he was in there too? Yeah, his buddy was there with him, dude. You didn't say anything the whole fucking time. You just let him take the rap? Well, we... Did he, did he beat you? Was it you? So it was a double-A <laughs> battery. You guys both got in on this? Mutual combat. What was the... What did the fight entail? I'm always curious when, uh, when dudes get into a scrap. The cops? You fought the cops? Oh, yeah, you can't hit a cop. You I guys beat up cops? Shit. They didn't I got do something in common with the Montana boys. <laughs> oh, so you hit a cop? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Probably shouldn't have brought that up, but yeah, I did, dude. What, uh, for what? It's a long story. Right. Also, you remember I told you earlier I can't incriminate myself on podcasts, and I usually almost do? Yeah. That's where we cut this story short, dude. <laughs> all right. Well, send us all an email later tonight. <laughs> no, I'll tell you later. It's, it's, it's uh, beating up a cop is a good time, though. Uh, are you are you going through a midlife crisis? Is that, someone? Never. Is that Am I why, going through a midlife crisis? Is that why you got that fucking stupid-ass neck tattoo? Show everybody dude, you, you, you copied me, dude. No, dude. You, stop, dude. <laughs> but, hey, look. Is that a compass on your neck or what, dude? It's Odin's Raven, dude. I'm vibing. <laughs> what sort of characters do we got on your uh, left sleeve here? Uh, Hannibal Lecter. Is that Amanda Bynes? <laughs> 
The woman, I swear to God, it looks like Amanda Bynes. And that uh, would be fucking it, very it's hardcore. A, it's a chick from Full House. <laughs> <laughs> Good callback, dude. Oh, uh, shit. Good. No, uh, I got those in prison. But, um... There's no way you got that in prison. No, I didn't. Dude. Yeah, the tattoos are never in prison. Good. Yeah, it's way no, too The good. shitty knuckle tattoos are in prison. Okay. Oh, are we, are we, we're good, all right? We're, we're good. Everybody had a good time. Hey, I had a good time. Let's this get the fun, comedy yeah. started here. I had a pretty good time. Hey, y'all, come out to the field expect. house. Uh, thanks to Adam Ray, Del Moore, and fucking Gary Faust. Uh, y'all stick around. We'll take a little 10-minute intermission, uh, and then uh, we'll get the comedy started, man. Thank you for coming out. Let's have a fun good time, thanks, right? Thanks, guys. Check two and two, check two and two. Make some noise for Uncle Laser and his podcast. My drunk uncle makes some noise once again. What can even comedy? <laughs> 